What's going on Master Duel fans, James here again, more Duelist Cup action for you guys, with this hand, absolutely solid. Normal Theresia, straight up set intact, three more set, pass. Okay, so Tenyi's starts off fresh with Ashina, Chain Shifter, Chain Domain. Kentrugina in defense specifically because in case if I were to clear out the entire board, you never know if your opponent has Lightning Storm to some degree. Ashina Special, Heavily Dragged Circle, Tribute Ashina, get the Moye. Adhara. Adhara for Monk. Shtana. Two Worms for Shaman. Solemn Judgment. Normal Moye. Reveal Long Yong. Now, I actually went with Imperm instead of Intat because now that Long Yong has been revealed, it makes it so that even if I were to use the Intat on the Moye, Realistically, if the Sorto Tenyi player has another worm in hand off from Long Yong discard of Fed, then that play never made a difference and I end up either literally lose the game or left over with some of the burn damage. For which, by the way, um, it's most likely going to end up losing the game if I use Intact. So I went with Imperm the Moye. Long Yawn. Discard another copy. And I knew it all this time. So basically, as of what we know throughout the whole entire hand, it was Ashina, Heavily Dragon Circle, Adhara, Shtana. And then a double long yongs. Moye over Kentrugina. Kentrugina for Theresia. Theresia, set the alert. And then Sword Soul Tangy players scooped. And this next matchup with his hand solid. Prosperity for six. Madolches. This is gonna be fun. Promenade. Madeline. Dark Ruler. Angel Jelly. Tactics Talent. Well, shame. And then, Madolce, Cat Waffle. So it's Promenade, Madeline, Dark Ruler, Angel Jelly, Tactics Talent, Cat Waffle. Well, I guess that means we're gonna have to uh, immediately do this, otherwise we outright lose. Normal Madeline. Madeline getting Cat Waffle. Pudding Sister. Pudding Sister for Angel Jelly. Activate Shifter. Lost Out Frenzy, courtesy of Tactics Talent. And pass. 
Okay, so opponent gave me a really good exchange. Shuffling back the frenzy. Top debt Theresia. It's way past doable. Normal Theresia. Straight up set domain. Two more set. Theresia over Angel Jelly. And pass. Normal Cat Waffle. Cat Waffle Trigger. Chain Domain. Kentrigina. For Gelato. Gelato Attempt. Intact to negate destroy the Gelato. Gelato. Kentrigina for Domain. Rex Term. Gelato Shuffle Back. And then Madolce Scoop. And this next matchup with this hand, pretty solid. Set four, pass. Okay, any warriors? Let's see what we got. Um, okay, first time ever. The archetype of Menadium. Menadium is part of the lore's story as of Visa Starfrost, and they are all about a moment of peace. So, a guideline of Menadiums. Menadium happens to be a universe of Starfrost, and in this universe, they have Synchro Monsters which they are all about peaceful. So, to go over the Menadium cards. Fearless, Meek, Torrid, the level two fairy tuners, all of them have no attack. Fearless, 2000 defense of an earth monster. And by the way, Fearless is definitely something for my uh, Vernus Silph strategy because Earth Tuner. Meek, Water, 1800 Defense, Torrid, Fire, 1500 Defense. And all of which they are all about if you control. Visa Starfrost or a monster with 15 attack, 21 defense, free special themselves, and they can only be special summoned once per turn this way. Fearless. The Ball of Scareclaw. If this card gets killed by battle or card effect, special summon one Manadium Fearless from your deck. Also, during the battle phase this turn, Synchro Monsters you control gain 500 attack. Meek, the Ball of Tear Limits. If this card gets killed by battle or card effect, special summon one Meek from your deck, then increase its level by two. Torrid, the Ball of Cash Tira. If this card gets killed by battle or card effect, special summon one Menadium Tuner from your deck. Literally any Menadium Tuner. And then this effect of Torrid once 
the destruction of Meek is not once a turn. And then the destruction effect of Fearless is also not once a turn. Menadium Reum Heart. The peaceful version of Star Frost. Level 4 Light Warrior. 1500 attack, 2100 defense. During the main phase, if this card is in your hand as a quick effect, target one Manadium monster you control or one monster you control with 1500 attack, 2100 defense. Kill it, and if you do, special this card out. And upon no more special, add one Manadium card from deck to hand that isn't Reum Hard. So basically, anything from the main deck except a copy of itself. The Manadium Spells. Manadium Imaginings. Reveal one Manadium monster or Visa Starfrost. Draw two, place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Nice. And then banish this. From your graveyard, target one monster you control with 1500 attack, 2100 defense. Make it a tuner. Each effect of Manadium Imaginings once. Manadium Abscission. Target one monster you control, kill it, and, it, and if you do, add one peaceful planet Calarium from your deck to your hand, or if you control peaceful planet Calarium, Add one Manadium spell trap instead that isn't Abscission. Banish this from Grave. Special one Star Frost or one monster with 15 attack, 21 defense from your hand. Each effect of Manadium Abscission once. Peaceful Planet Calarium. We all know what's up about searching Star Frost, and in this universe. This lets you get one Manadium from deck to hand as well in terms of options. Light monsters you control gain 100 attack for each tuner you control and in your graveyard. If a face up tuners more than one, you control gets killed by battle or card effect. You could target one of those monsters, special it out. The Destruction effect of Peaceful Planet Clarium is once and hard activation of Peaceful Planet Clarium once. The two Manadium Traps. Manadium Break Heart. Manadium Reframing. The Break Heart. Target one tuner or one Synchro Monster in your graveyard. Special it out. Then, if you special a light monster, does not target, destroy one monster your opponent controls with an attack less than or equal to the special summon monsters. If Star Frost or a monster with 15 attack, 21 defense, you control will be killed by battle or card effect, banish this from your graveyard instead. So, saving grace with a hint of revival and non target destruction. Quite the custom card. Manadium Reframing. When a spell trap card or monster effect triggers while you control a synchro monster, and it doesn't matter what synchro monster it is, negate the activation. Then, if you have Star Frost or a monster with 15 attack, 21 defense on your field or in your graveyard. You can destroy that negated card. So built in Omni Negate. And if you control Star Frost or 1521 stat, destroy that negated card. Interesting. And then banish this from grave. Target up to three Manadium monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle them back. Each effect of Manadium reframing once. The two synchro monsters. Trisukta Prime Heart Manadium Trisukta Light Fairy Synchro Tuner 
of a level 6, 2300 attack, 1300 defense. Generic 6. Upon Synchro Summon, target one level 2 tuner in your graveyard, special it out, but negate its effects. You can target any no number of tuners you control, change their levels to 2. Also, you can't special from the extra deck except Synchros for the rest of the turn. Each effect of Trisukta once. And by the way, sneak peek moment, by the way. So, anytime I saw this card of Trisukta, this was literally the Synchro Monster I pulled. And initially, I thought of ideas involving this Manadium Synchro, but unfortunately, I was not there, so who knows. The boss of Starfrost's peaceful universe, Manadium Prime Heart. Level 10, Light Fairy, 3000 flat both ways. One or more tuners with one light monster. This card can attack a number of times each battle phase up to the number of tuners used for its synchro summon. The more tuners you use, the more attacks it will prepare. If this card was synchro summoned using a Manadium tuner as material, your opponent cannot target it within card effects, so anti-target. And then if this face of synchro summon card in its owner's control leaves the field that isn't the extra deck because of an opponent's card, special summon one of your monsters with 15 attack, 21 defense, or star frost that is off from your banished or in your graveyard. And with that being said, that is every Minadium archetype card covered. Let's get to it. Oh, switching it up to Scareclaw. So, Manadium Scareclaw, as it seems. Judgment. The right heart. Frenzy. Maxi. Call by. On Maxi. Frenzy for Rex Term. Peaceful for Meat. Alert Theresia. Straight up set domain. Domain. Kentrugina. And I also have Forbidden Chalice to shut off Kendra Gina's effect, making her effectively at 4,400 for lethal. This next matchup with his hand, it's nice. Normal Diplos, Ash Blossom, Chain Maxi, let me take a look, Raina Heart, Rise Heart, Ogre. And realistically, it doesn't even make a difference on which one I shuffle back because if I get rid of um, Ogre, opponent is going to have to commit to normal summon one of those two 
uh, universal emotions of Star Frost. And if I shuffle back Rise Hard, it makes it so that opponent cannot extend no further. And then Rain of Hearts, on the other hand, that just leads to uh, one card tier limit combo. So realistically, it never made a difference on which one that I choose. So we end up choosing Rise Hard to shuffle. To set and pass. The ogre we knew. Exchanged the cash tier of Rise Heart for Tier Limits Cash Tier. How bold. Domain as chain three. Can Georgina? Tier Limits Cash Tira. Scream Unicorn Grief. For Grief. No Banished Tier Limit Trap. And then Scream on the other hand. Get a Tier Limit Trap. Scream. For Soliac. Pentragena. Copy off Domain. And then tier limits, cash tier of players scooped. And this next matchup with this hand Extra solid. Normal Theresia. Set the intact. And two set. A total of three. Wagon. Letting it go for the field spell. Okay. Gold Pride Punks. This is definitely going to be interesting. So. Captain Carry, yep. To special her out, Captain Carry for start your engines. Whoa! Wow! Gold Pride Star Leon. And since this is the only gold pride gets the animation treatment, let's see what's the reason why about how incredible this synchro is. Generic 6 of a level 6 light thunder for some reason, 2000 both ways. During the main phase as a quick effect, Target one face-up monster your opponent controls, this card gains attack equal to the target's original attack. Then, if your life is lower than your opponent's, does not target the short at monster. And then the previous effect of Star Leon once. And then once per turn during the end phase, if the previous effect was triggered, kick it back to the extra deck. And if you do, special one Leon from your deck or graveyard. Wow. Frenzy. There's the Ash. Intact. Frenzy for Tentragena. Star Leon, Kentrugina, Copy Frenzy for Rex Term, uh, shouldn't Kentrugina be destroyed by now? Um, hold on. Are 
Oh, I see it. Life points are lower than your opponents. Well, consider myself lucky that we're playing Dynamorphia, which means Kentrogena is avoided to be destroyed. But Star Leon at 6,000. Star Leon over Theresia. In the damage step, uh, let's see. Pedal to the metal is the card. Target one gold pride monster you control until the end of the turn. Extra 500 and can't be killed by battle or card effects, and it cannot activate its effects. Okay, so realistically, the 500 attack is there, so that pretty much means it can be triggered in the damage step. But realistically, it doesn't make a difference because of Rex term shrinking the synchro down to literally. 500 attack. Thousand difference. Theresia save. Two set. Alert. For a double dip loss. Dip loss. Toss out brute. Burn for five. And it's go time. Rex turn. Make the Synchro 125. Diplos over the Synchro. Theresia, Diplos. Kentrogena, Lethal. And this next matchup with this hand, absurd. Set four and a pass. Special Fend Rear. Frenzy. Chain Maxi. Chain Intet. For Kentrogena. Kentrogena. Copy Frenzy. Immediately make Rex turn to avoid Fenrir. Rex turn. Make Fenrir 500. Chalice on Kentrogena at 4400. Tina Miss Cash Tira. Oh? Um. During the main phase, as a quick effect, special summon this from hand. And if you do, banish one cash tier or tenements from your hand or grab your. Oh! Um. Let me see. Ah! Bell prevents cards being banished from the graveyards. And realistically, I'm so glad I was able to have the space. To fit in Ghost Bell. Set one, and then Cash Tier players scooped. And this next matchup with this hand, nice. Divine Temple, put back the Ash. Summons out Impulse, one set. So that basically means Snake Eyes, Rescue Ace. Drop Shifter. Storm the back row. And what do we hit before Theresia comes up? Rescue. Theresia triggers. Impulse triggers. For fire engine. 
straight up set and tap. Let me take a look. Subversion. Flame Burge. And originally, I thought of shuffling back Flame Burge, but the lower level snake guys can fish it out. So I decided uh, shuffle back V sub version. And one set because fire engine is way too large. Switch. Frenzy. For Kendrigina. Fire engine. Intact. Can Trigina copy Frenzy for Rex term? And then Snake Eyes rescue a scoop. And last but not least, with his hand, wild. Set four and pass. Normal dark beckoning beast. Chain domain. For Kentrigina. Getting the opening of the spirit gates. Opening. Cosmic Resolve without effect. Snake Eye Sacred Beasts. Original Sinful Spoils. Kentrigina copy off the domain. Frenzy S3. Alert S4. Theresia Diplos. Frenzy for Rex term. For the first time ever in gameplay history, Dynamorphia Stealth Bergia arrived on the field. Level 6 Dark Dinosaur, no attack, 2500 defense. Two Dynamorphias with different names is what it takes to make Stealth Bergia. While your life points are 2,000 or less, you do not need to pay points just to activate traps or Dynamorphia monster effects. Each of the following effects of Stealth Bergia once. When your opponent activates a monster effect as a quick effect, burn your opponent based off from that monster's original attack. And just like Kentrigina and Rex turn, if this card gets killed by a battle or card effect, this lets you, most cases, just like Kentrigina, get one level four or lower Dynamorphia from your graveyard. And Snake Eye for Poplar. Theresia, Diplos. And this board pretty much spells trouble for Snake Eyes. So guys, that's going to do it throughout this unique, quickest games to close. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You guys know the good stuff. Smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated. And we'll catch you guys next time.